Hi, welcome to my channel. So this is basic sword. So how can we simplify this problem? The first thing you must do, first thing first, is to make sure you put the rule that the square root of AB is the same thing as splitting this square root of A times the square root of B. That is the first thing you must do. So obeying this rule, then think of a perfect square. That keyword, perfect square. What is perfect square? Those numbers that two numbers can multiply to produce. For example, if you have one times one, it will give you one. So one is a perfect square. Because if I take the square root of one, it will give me one. Two times two will give you four. Because if I take the square root of four, it will give me two. Three times three will give you nine. So nine is a perfect square. Four times four is 16. 16 is a perfect square. Five times five is 25. Please keep listening. I will do it up to 13. Six times six is 36. So 36 it's a perfect square. 7 times 7 is 49, so 49 is a perfect square. 8 times 8 is 64. 64 is a perfect square. 9 times 9 is 81. 81 is a perfect square. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 is a perfect square. 11 times 11 is 121. 121 is a perfect square. 12 times 12 is 144. 144 is a perfect square. 11, 13 times 13 is 169. So 169 is a perfect square. So think of any of this perfect square number to multiply with any other number that may not be perfect square. To produce 18. If I should think of 6 and 3, 6 times 3 is 18, then none of them are perfect square. So what do we need to do? Think of 2 times 9 or 9 times 2. That, that's the solution. So we have 9 times 2 to give you this 18. So this and this are literally the same. So what do we need to do? Follow up this rule. If you have them like this, you can easily split them to this point. So have the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. So what is the square root of 9? We just discussed that, that 3 times 3 will give you 9. So the square root of 9 will be 3 without the use of calculators. So we have 3 times the square root of 2. So what is 3 times the square root? And what happened to the square root of 2? 2 is not a perfect square. So even if you use calculator to check the square root of 2, it will give you a terminating decimal, a repeated number on the screen of your calculator. And that's what we call irrational number or rational number rather. Is it irrational number or rational number? Please put that on the comment section. Put it on the comment section. So we do not need decimal points. So we just leave it in that root form and multiply 3 by the square root of 2. And the result will give you 3 root 2. So this 3 root 2 is the final solution to this problem. And I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so and upload the video. To get notification. My name is Instructor Allison and I teach math, physics, chemistry on this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Peace.